Here are five Sons of the Forest mods you should get. Starting off with my favorite mod, the Radio Spawner. Now this is a quite simple mod, all it does is allows you to spawn in a radio wherever you want. Therefore, we can finally have music at our bases without having to kick a radio across the map just for it to despawn. Huh? Next up we have the Kelvin Cloner mod. Ever feel like one Kelvin isn't enough? Well, with this mod you can spawn in as many Kelvins as you want. Everything works as normal with them, you still have to assign each one tasks individually. Although I would love to see them add on the option to be able to assign all Kelvins a task at once. This mod's fun to mess around with, like seeing how fast they can detree the forest. Next up we have the infinite zipline. This one's pretty useful as with this mod you can make ziplines go as far as you want without them breaking. So yes, you can make that zipline to the top of the mountain you've always wanted to have. You can also go into the config files of this mod and change the zipline's acceleration speed, max velocity, and a few other things. Next we have the fast inventory panning mod that lets you speed up the inventory camera speed and FOV. This mod reduces the time it takes to move items in and out of the backpack, making it easier to manage inventory during gameplay. Also with inventory, we have the infinite inventory mod, which as you probably guessed, allows you to carry basically as many items as you want in your inventory. Now at number 5 we have the debug console mod. All this mod does is gives you access to the game console menu. You can pretty much do anything with this one as long as you know the commands. For example, you can spawn in any item you want as long as you know the proper name or number of an item. I will leave a link to a website with all the item numbers in the description. You can also do things like turn on log hacks, so you can build as much as you want without having to ever cut down another tree. You can change the time of day and even give yourself super jump. Now I'm going to show you guys how to install the mods. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go on over to your browser. Now type in Overwolf. Go to the website. And once you're here, go to this Gamers tab and go down to App Store. Now come over to the search bar here and type in Thunderstore. This is the one we're going to want to download. So you can just click on it and hit download. Now it's going to pop up your files. Just hit save. Now you can go ahead and open up the exe installer wherever it's saved in your files. Now that it's installed, we can just go ahead and go through all the prompts here. So you can just hit next. Now just come over and check this box here and you can hit next again. Now it's going to go ahead and download the application. And once it's finished downloading, we can go ahead and launch it. And once the application is launched, we can go ahead and look up Sons of the Forest. Select the game. Now you're going to want to click on select profile. Now navigate down to get mods tab. And this is where all the mods that are currently out for the game are going to be. All right, so these are all the mods I showcased in the video. If you want to download them, we have the Kelvin cloner, the infinite inventory, infinity zipline, debug console, radio spawner, and faster inventory panning. Now, obviously there's a lot of other mods. You can go ahead and try those out if you want. But when you go to download one, all you do is click on it and hit this download button, and then hit download with dependencies. And it's as simple as that, the mod will be installed and that's all you're gonna need to do. Another thing to mention quickly, if you don't know how to use the mod, just click on the mod and read the description. They usually tell you how to use it. At the top here, you'll see a modded and a vanilla button. The vanilla is just the base game, it'll launch it for you. The modded will launch the game for you with the mods. So we're just gonna wanna launch Sons of the Forest with this modded button here, and it'll launch it through Steam. And if for some reason you're getting this error, go over to the settings here and scroll down till you see change Sons of the Forest directory. Now just click on this and change the location to where your Sons of the Forest is located in your files. Just a quick note, when you launch the game through the modded tab, you're going to notice there's this little console window that's always going to be open. You're going to need to leave this open in order to play the game with mods. So don't close out of this or it'll close the game. And once you're on the game, you can go ahead and just load into your world and use the mods how you want. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to keep on watching, click the video on screen now.